want to give a demonstration of fixed log to orchestra or just log to orchestra for short. Purpose of this program is to get you started with orchestra. If you already have existing fixed behavior, and most fixed engines write message logs so that can be uh, captured that behavior. Now, the log to orchestra program that I'm showing here runs in a browser. The way you get to it is you go to a fixed website, and like all websites, it loads the code into your browser. It's how elements are displayed for your controls, but also it's actually loading it as scripting into your browser. And why that's important is we understand that confidentiality of log files is very important. So we developed this program to only run within your browser. So when you load the log files into it, they actually never leave your premises. They never go out to any fixed server or anything like that. It's just run locally and operate it on locally. And so you can be assured that they remain confidential. So I'm gonna show you how to run this program and I'm gonna explain each of the pieces of it. The first thing that we input is a reference orchestra file. And first I'm gonna choose that file from a list here from a directory. And this one is for fix latest, which represents the very latest enhancements to the fixed standard. So it shows that I've selected that file for upload into the program. So here's a place to get it. And we ha we have fix for two, four, four, and fix latest. Or these are all orchestra files that you could use as your reference. The second thing I'm going to do is select a fixed message log. Now this would be a tag value file. It can be anonymized. So if you have sensitive data in there, you can obscure that or remove it. And this will just skip right over any gaps of that sort. So I'm gonna choose a log file. And I'm going to pick this one here. And then the next step, which is optional, is to set up a configuration. Now, this is an optional step because the program has a standard configuration already built in. So I'm going to really kind of step over that. So most of the time, all I really need to do is just pick two files as my input. And then I'm going to name my output file down in this box here. There's one other user interface element, which is append only. And what this allows you to do is develop your orchestra file uh, iteratively, where I could build it from one log file. And then sometime later, I find some other use cases in another log file. I could say, just append that to my rules of engagement without removing anything uh, that it didn't find from the first log file. I'm just going to go with these inputs and create my orchestra file. So it's currently creating the orchestra file from the input to the reference file and the message log. So now it's complete. So in the, that log, it found six message types and three scenarios. So it's a scenario is a form of a message type. In fix, we have overloaded the message type. So the best example is execution report message type eight is really a lot of different uses. It could say that I've accepted a message, I've booked it for any number of about a dozen or more use cases. In orchestra, we've taken account for that feature of fix and we call these scenarios sort of versions of a message type. And of those six message types, it's 70 fields in the log that were actually used. Now, if you look at the fix standard, it would may have hundreds of fields. This is what was actually used in this actual fix behavior. And 11 user defined fields. Within the messages, it, it contained 10 components, which are reusable portions of messages. So I'm gonna download that file and it goes into my download directory. So it's my orchestra two is the name of the file. Uh, I happened to have run this earlier to save time. I've already loaded it up into an XML file editor that can show an XML file in kind of a outline format. And I'm not going to teach you all of the uh, details of this, but I just want you to get a flavor for what an orchestra file looks like. Here's all of the messages that were actually created from behavior in, as represented by that log file. So here's one particular message, which is an execution report for the canceled scenario. 
and this is the content or structure of that message. So it has reusable components, and this one happens to be the standard headers, and it has some other fields and some other contained components. These components and groups, which are repeating groups, are defined elsewhere in the file. So I just wanted to give you that flavor for the contents of it. And that's a machine-readable rules of engagement, as we call orchestra. And this file can be used to generate all kinds of artifacts. It can be used to generate documentation, it could generate code, it could generate configuration, test cases, and so forth. 